the standards aren't there to match these vehicles that are being made. It is the Wild West right now. A speeding Tesla crashes into a concrete pillar and catches fire, an intense fire in a vehicle powered by lithium-ion batteries. The intensity of the fire is, is directly linked to the, uh, to the battery cells uh, uh, in the Tesla. Four occupants died. A fifth suffered serious injuries. The cause of death hasn't been determined yet. But fires that involve these kinds of batteries pose a relatively new and special challenge in a crisis, says professional firefighter Randy Narain. We're not trained to do it. Narain is part of a non-profit group calling for safety standards for dealing with vehicle batteries and extinguishing fires, something he says other countries are pursuing seriously. Canada, I have yet to come across any government body that has put any money into any research for the protection of the public or first responders. Last month, thousands of kilos of lithium-ion batteries burned in a container near the port of Montreal. It was a challenge to extinguish and posed a danger to those nearby. In the Tesla collision, part of the battery broke away on impact and had to be placed in a bin with sand and hauled to a remote location because it could catch fire again. One of the concerns that we do have uh, with these types of uh, issues is thermal runaway and the fact that these can reignite for up to weeks and weeks later. Concern electric car buyers don't usually consider, but Randy Narine does. Part of that battery pack was laying in the road. Those are little ticking time bombs. So each of those individual cells can go off and create detrimental damage to the humans that are around it. Now you have firefighters walking around picking those up. It's like holding a grenade. With more e-bikes and electric vehicles, the number of fires involving batteries is increasing and the risks are greater. Toronto's police chief says the deaths of four individuals is sad. It is a tragedy and it is a time for us to come together and support those who have been impacted. And with growing numbers of e-bikes and electric vehicles being parked indoors in condominiums and in office towers, the concern is that if there are fires, that firefighters in this province aren't sufficiently equipped to deal with those. Sean O'Shea, Global News.